Hello friends, a blessed good evening to all of you. It's now 11 o'clock and two minutes. And I'd like you to have in your hands your chain of prayer, your calendar of the blessing. Because today is day two on our calendar, day two of this month. And today is the second day of this great purpose that we have been making in this month of March. And we do believe that in this month, what God has done in the life of Hezekiah and his people, God also will do in your life. When they took a decision to turn themselves back to God, they became faithful tithers. They separated one-tenth out of everything that came into their hands. They returned to God and God made for them to have left a great abundance. What was left in their hands was a great abundance. And this is what God will do for you. And talking about a great abundance, we have here this extra virgin oil. And very interesting, because here it says, first cold pressing. This olive oil that we have here in our hands was out of the first press. And this is the olive oil that we are going to be using this upcoming Sunday to consecrate those of you who are faithful tithers. And you are going to learn more about it very soon. We are going to do the prayer now. Uh, I'd like Pastor Junior to help us here with the prayer and to bless and to consecrate this olive oil for us. So it's time now for us to pray, for us to talk to God. In biblical times, when season for the olive harvest came around, olives would be gathered and taken to an olive press made of stone. As soon as they were crushed, the olive oil would immediately begin to flow. Once the oil stopped flowing, it would be poured into separate bottles and set aside. Then they would increase the weight used to crush the olives, and the process would be repeated three times more. It was always the first crushing of the olives that produced the highest quality of oil. It wasn't allowed to be sold or used for any other purpose. The oil was set aside and consecrated to God, only to be used in the temple of the Lord. We've learned that God wants us to give Him our best, the first. And whenever we honor Him with the first of all we have, we show our total trust in the one who has always provided for our needs. This Sunday, March 7th, is the Feast of the First Fruits. Faithful tithers will be consecrated with this very same oil at 10 a.m. in every Universal Church location. My Lord and my Father, in the name of your Son, Jesus, together He, Lord, with your servant on the altar, we consecrate and we bless this olive oil. And we determine, Father, that this coming Sunday, when your people, those that will take the decision to put you first, to return to you what is already belong to you, when they receive, Father, this anoint, this consecration, my Father, the same thing that took place during the time of Hezekiah, the same thing must happen in the life of your people. Abundance and success must take place in their lives. Wherever they go, whatever they lay, a hand, they, they lay their hands upon, my Father, their business, their workplace, Father, this month of March for the faithful tithers, it will not be just one more month, but it's going to be the month of great abundance and also my Lord I pray on behalf of Trinidad and Tobago my Lord bless our country bless our nation those who are in this exactly moment feeling depressed feeling down feeling oppressed visit this person right now Lord set this person free from this sleepless night from the insomnia whatever that have been comes in the night to torment this person those who are feeling pain those who are sick 
those my lord that they are in the hospital visit them right now set them free oh lord we call upon your name right now visit our nation bless the authorities of this country give it to them wisdom give it to them knowledge my lord we surrender everything into your mighty hands bless our service tomorrow wednesday when we are going to be here lord seeking your presence when we are, when we are going to be here lord put you first in our lives we surrender everything and also especially the life of this person into your mighty hands in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit and those who believe says amen amen praise god my friend so we are going to be uh together tomorrow wednesday here in our national headquarters i'm going to be together with you six in the morning ten in the morning and most especially five in the afternoon and we are going to have the other pastors spread it in the other three services that we have for the day so we will be all together tomorrow to seek the presence of God and talking about tomorrow you are going to watch it's very quick just two minutes just two minutes you are going to watch my friend this video talking about tomorrow Wednesday and for all of you that tomorrow we'll be together with us and once more again 11 o'clock we are going to have the prayer have your chain of prayer your calendar of the blessing mark on your calendar the day that you want your breakthrough your blessing to come into your hands let us use our faith all together because we know that this month is going to be the month of abundance and also success in your life have yourself a very blessed night. See you. How many times did you need someone to guide you? How many times did you follow a stranger's direction because you felt lost? How many times did you believe someone who misled you? How many times did you think you were being helped but yet you were not? Why not ask God the guidance, help or direction you need? If we put God first, we will never be lost. We will never be betrayed. We will never be helpless. It is written, But seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things shall be given to you. Salvation Wednesday We have to learn to put God first